case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case heard by the Supreme Court of California in 1971, Tahoe National Bank v. Phillips, the court addressed the importance of interpreting contracts according to their terms and considering the bargaining power of the parties involved. Beulah F. Phillips, a borrower, had signed an assignment of rents and agreement not to sell or encumber real property with a bank while pursuing a real estate development in the Lake Tahoe area. The bank tried to argue that the assignment was a mortgage and therefore they had the right to foreclose on Phillips's property. However, the El Dorado County Superior Court did not agree with the bank's claim, stating that the assignment was not a mortgage and extrinsic evidence could not be used to prove otherwise. They found that since the bank had chosen the standard contract, any ambiguity in the language must be interpreted against them, as they held a superior bargaining position. Ultimately, the court reversed the foreclosure judgment against Phillips, ruling that the bank was not entitled to foreclose on her property, as they could not convert the assignment into an equitable mortgage. The court emphasized the importance of interpreting contracts based on their terms and considering the bargaining power of the parties in such cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.